was a recent study by Old Mutual that um, looked through over 3,000 people and found out that 40% of those people were uncomfortable about whether they had enough savings. And what I've found in my experience is that very few women even know what is enough savings. It's important for women to start participating, whether on their own for themselves or in their marriage, and make the decisions a joint decision. The only person who's going to be left in the end enjoying the fruits of the investments is themselves or their husband and wife and spouse. It's a joint effort that you need to be making. The other thing that's important to note here is that if you look around the retirement villages, it's mostly women left behind. Longevity is one of the biggest problems in investing. You don't know when that last day is going to be. Women face problems in retirement because they didn't pay attention along the way. And a lot of what happens as well is that you'll take a break to look after the family. And at that point, you usually take a break from your retirement savings as well. But you don't take a break from the expectation in your retired years of living off those savings, whether it's jointly with your spouse or not. So your financial plan needs to incorporate the eventualities that happen along the way, that you need to be planning to take the break, keep up with the retirement savings, and make sure there's an emergency fund. Very few people plan for an emergency. It's not a nice topic, but you need those savings. You need those extras along the way. One of the other problems that women face is that we live in a very patriarchal society where although you're in charge of the budget, you're not in charge of the finances. And it's wrong to talk about it being in charge of. Let's get together as a family and understand what the finances are, understand the income and the expenditures and the future plans. Any business fails if they don't have a plan. And it's the same with your finances in a family. Your children should understand what their savings should be, what they're aiming towards spending their pocket money on, as well as yourself. Have a strategy. And I think don't allow your husband or your spouse to take charge of the relationship with the financial advisor. It's important to do it jointly. Understand where the strategy is going, even if it's um, foreign to you. You're probably going to make a wise decision because you'll ask the questions that your spouse may have been too embarrassed to ask or, um, or, or there were the wrong assumptions being made along the way. It's important to interrogate the financial advisor. Ask him to explain. If he can't explain it to you in simple language, he might not be doing his job properly. I love this question. Of course women are better at investing, but not for the real reasons um, or the ones that you're leaping to in your mind right now. Women tend to be less risk um, takers. They tend to be more consistent investors and they tend to invest for the long term. What we find in those research papers that have come out proving my fact is that women actually stick with the strategy for the long term. They're great uh, Buffett investors. They love that boring, dull strategy of staying with an investment for the right reasons and sticking to the plan. Does your husband have a plan? Understand the details of the strategy, the financial strategy, the financial plan. Understand the risks that are inherent in that plan. What can derail the plan? Understand all the assumptions that are being um, put into the plan. Is, is the inflation rate a correct inflation rate in your situation? Has the strategy and the products and the investments that are there on the table in front of you, do those actually relate back into your life? Most women understand the family budget far better than their husbands. They'll have a grasp of reality and what it costs to spend money at the shops to provide the dinner on the table. Very few husbands understand how much difficulty women go through to come out on a budget. Take that expertise as a woman and put that into a long-term strategy that includes the investments as well as the risks on the downside. And when I talk about risks, I'm not just talking about investment risks, I'm talking about 
life risks. What happens if your husband passes away? The breadwinner is gone. What happens if a dreaded disease event comes along? Ask the questions more importantly, and then get to the point where you're satisfied the answer is the right one for you in your situation. Thank you.